right, so we got a pod ready here, and it's right back here. That orange one you see right there, that is called the Dorset Naga. Now, I can certainly assure you that pod is probably close to a million Scovilles, and I'm probably not going to be able to do a full taste test for you, but we'll bite off the end of it, and we'll see what it tastes like, and we'll try to describe the heat if we can. So let's pick this one. Broke in the middle. And that's quite a big pot. I would have to really give somebody credit for trying to eat that entire thing in one meal. Even to eat that like with your food it would be a lot to put on there, uh, being it's probably a million or over. And as you can see, it's got that typical Buchalokia shape, but it's a heavy Buchalokia shape. Usually Buchalokias are a lot skinnier and narrower, and, and this one's orange, and it looks scary. But nonetheless, I'm trying to give you a good light angle. And that's what it looks like. Beautiful pepper. That's what the cap looks like. Almost no cap. That's what the very bottom looks like. And uh, it's just a gorgeous specimen. So let's turn you around and give it a go. Alright guys, we're going to attempt to do a pod review on this. And it's more than likely I'm going to spit it out. I am not going to attempt to actually eat and swallow this thing. Because I know what it's going to do to me. Now, I did eat some... Uh, food that has heavy cream in it. So hopefully that helps subside some of the gut cramp. I will take a swallow or two But I am not eating the whole thing By any means I can guarantee that the idea of the video is to kind of give you an idea what it tastes like and what I think it might Flavor zone it might fall into and then I try to describe the heat But once you get into these kind of peppers here the heat is really It's really way past my capacity to handle heat uh, when it comes to eating these things raw when eating them in food no problem you chop that up You put it in your fried saute it in your food. Yeah, your food's gonna be really hot But it's spread out and it's got some oils and fats in it and your body it will handle it a lot better So without any further ado, let's give it a bite Ooh, that thing's got heat on it man right away thing in my mouth it's coming in right now I, I chewed it up a little bit and spit it out i couldn't even swallow that holy mackerel the heat from that thing is whew. i don't know how these guys do it with these super hots you see them stuffing them down their throat there must be a trick to doing that so you could swallow it <clears throat> i don't know how they swallow it that's the problem that's where you choke your mouth is burning everything is hot then you go to swallow it and, and for some reason, it doesn't go down. I can't get them down. Very hard to do that. Okay, that heat is kicking in good now, boy. Whew. It is burning the entire tongue with, an, with a ferocity that I can't even describe to you. This is definitely a million Scoville units right now. My tongue feels like it's swelling up almost. Keeps trying to spit to it help you know who that is hot man man i feel bad for anybody who tries to eat that thing wow <clears throat> i mean i swallowed a little bit of it so basically the heat is it's burning the whole tongue my lips are burning it's burning to the back of the throat a little bit oh man whoo Ooh, it's a stinging type of pain, too. It's stinging, man. That's like, I. it feels like as if you boiled water. Just stick your tongue right in that boiling water. That's what it feels like. Burn that tongue good. Wow, that hurts, man. Ooh, boy. If I swallowed that, I would definitely be gut cramping with that one. Now, as far as the flavor goes, the flavor was pretty nice. It was kind of, it's, it tastes... Okay, there's that fourth flavor zone that I usually don't include because that really falls into the 
super hots and of those kind of flavors and when we're talking about super hots you have like reapers and seven pot flavors which i'm a really big fan of then you got the scorpions and those kind of peppers that have their own flavors and they kind of taste like habaneros a little bit they have that fruitiness and then of course you have the jalokia type flavors and they got a flavor of their own and they are they have a fruitiness to it but they have like a certain kind of a flavor and i really like the flavor of jalokias it's just man the heat on these things are just absolutely ferocious wow i am really burning up good right now it looks like I'm handling it well because I spit it out. But even chewing it up and moving it around my mouth like that, man, I think <laughs> if I had to swallow that, I'd be sick right now. And I swallowed a little bit of it, but I didn't swallow enough of it to make me gut cramp. My stomach is fine. Like I told you, I drank stuff with heavy cream in it. I ate uh, oatmeal with a set of milk. I use heavy cream and the heavy cream coats my stomach and it, it alleviates the effect. Had I had I not done that, oh, I'd be sick right now. Ooh, that thing hurts, man. I try to. I want to taste it and try to give you a good idea of the flavor. It's kind of thick walled. It was very. It, it was very nice. The texture in the mouth. It broke up very nice. It had like, you know, it wasn't liquidy. Like as soon as you chewed it, it turns to liquid. Though, if you chew it a little bit, it eventually turns to liquid, which is what I did. But if you chop them up, just like this, and like in rings, just cut slices out of it in rings and put them in a salad, they'll stay together for you, and they're not going to get all liquidy and stuff. I say that because these kind of peppers, they are very oily on the inside. A lot of that oil is simply in part of the walls in there starting to break down and turn into a liquid. It's almost like a Tabasco pepper. Tabasco peppers kind of liquefy on the plant. They don't necessarily dry out. They just kind of get really watery and liquidy. And that's what Tabasco peppers do. These will kind of do that too, but they do it in their own way. They release an oil and that wall starts to get really watery and starts to really start to break down. And that's when they're, I, in my opinion, I believe that's when they're at their absolute hottest. When they get like that, because you're getting the full load in one shot I'll take another small bite off of this and let's try to really zone in on that flavor you already know that the heat what it is as far as like as far as the Scoville units on this I don't know it's a million plus guys it's I, I can't say oh this is 1.2 million I can't this is over a million you're you're gonna you're gonna get roasted like you would a Buccalochia or any of those other peppers so let me take another small bite and try to really tune in on that flavor. I really don't want to do that right now. I'm trying to let my tongue cool down, but I really want to get that flavor, lock that flavor in for you. Try to really describe that for you. For you folks who don't eat these things, um, you might want to cook with them. And just be sparing with it, but you might want to cook with it and experience the flavor of a Buccalochia or any of these Naga peppers. I'm starting to sweat from this thing. All right, let me take another small bite. That flavor is very unique to a Buccalochia flavor. I can't, I can't compare it. It has a fruitiness type. If you were to like pick any one of the main three uh, fruit flavors, if you were to say uh, habanero or bell pepper or cayenne this would be fruitier like a habanero type flavor but it doesn't taste like habanero i gotta spit man that thing is even that little piece i just ate oh my god that's just punishment that's not even enjoyable to be honest with you see the way i like to eat these and for a lot of my new viewers, a lot of you viewers who have been watching my videos, you know this already. But I, I'm saying this for a lot of my new viewers. The way to actually enjoy a pepper like this is to cook it with meats and cheeses. Fatty cheeses and meats with fat in it. Bacon is probably really good. I've never tried bacon with it, but bacon's a very fatty meat and you're cooking, you're frying it up. You really need that fat to stabilize that and to lock in that capsaicin, because I've talked about this in other videos, 
when capsaicin hits water or any kind of moisture like that, it releases a gas, and that gas causes cramps in your stomach. I'm going to do an experiment for you guys one day. I'm going to put a pepper like this. I'm burning up right now. I'm going to put a pepper like this in a balloon, and I'm going to seal it off and fill it with water. I'm going to show you how the balloon expands. It releases a gas. <coughs> and when you stabilize this in oil, you eat it with fat or some kind of an oil, you're not going to get the same effect. It's not going to start releasing gases. You lock it in. You prevent that from happening. It allows you to consume this food safely. When you don't do that, you're really going to feel the full effect of this thing. Oh, my God. Guys, I can't even focus right now. I'm almost getting head rushes. Whew. Man, that little piece did that to me. It's burning a whole back of my throat now. Oh, God, man. My sinuses are running. I'm sweating. Oh, my eyes ain't running, though. It's just a very painful burn. Very, very painful. Very striking. Very direct. It's very punishing. It's the only way to describe a butchalokia. Some people would be like, oh, dude, I eat reapers. Um, yeah, well, butchalokias are almost as hot as reapers. Most of the reapers you grow are nowhere near what Ed Curry uh, submitted to the Guinness Book of World Records. The most average reaper is not going to be like two and a half million or whatever it is. It's going to be like one and a half million. They don't get that hot. A regular reaper is nothing more than a seven pot that's been crossed with another a, a naga or something. Wow, that is really doing the number on me, man. My nose is running. I don't have any way to blow my nose. Oh. Wow, that's a hot one, man. The, what is that called? The Dorset Naga? My lips are burning. Yeah, that's called Dorset Naga. I got a lot of those coming out in these plants. So what am I going to do with them? Well, I'm going to save the seeds. And then I'm going to cut them open, you know, separate the seeds. And I'm going to take those, I'm going to dry them out. And sit out of my food dehydrator. I used to do it in the sun, but it takes too long. Oh my God, dude, you have no idea how much pain I'm in right now. Oh, thank God it's only the mouth, you know. If it was anywhere else, I would be really, you'd see it on my face, I'd look sick. It's only the mouth, I could take the, the mouth pain. But what I do is I dry them out in the food dehydrator, and I turn them into powder. And I could store them a long time that way. And um, you can add it to food. Just got to be careful doing that because you can easily add too much to food. And you will regret that. I can guarantee you. It's just, you got to remember, for every teaspoon of powder is equivalent to like three or four of those peppers. Because it concentrates. And believe me when I tell you, you're going to regret it. It will hit you harder. Even no matter what kind of fat you put it on, that'll hit you harder if you're eating three of those at once rather than one cut fresh and put onto a sandwich. You don't want to do that. Just be real careful with those powders. They're very, very powerful. Oh, man. That's it, guys. I'm done. Anyway, I gave you my pain. My I got to go blow my nose now. But anyway, here it is. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I ain't doing this whole thing has a very nice fruity smell to it too by the way i should start to smell them my peppers more often it's just most peppers don't have that kind of fragrance this one does a very nice pepper really like this one a lot it tastes very nice uh that's it i'll have seeds available for you at the end of the year don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one take care